Welcome. Um, the family, the uh, Romrel family, has drafted a response um, to the media uh, with respect to the incident um, of the death of Officer David Romrel. They have asked me to read that statement to you, um, finishing in conclusion of that statement. Um, Elizabeth Romrell will make some comments, um, but has asked that there be no questions um, asked today. Um, that they're willing to address those questions in the future um, as they identify a family spokesperson. So first of all, thank you for respecting our request to grieve as a family outside of the public view. We have felt your love and support. We know you are grieving as we are grieving for the loss of one of our own. One of the best of the best humanity had to offer. The last few weeks have been an emotional journey. The loss of David has obviously come as an overwhelming amount of devastation, emptiness, confusion, anger, pain, and all the emotions in between. With that darkness also came great light we would never have anticipated. We are truly grateful for the outpouring of support and the love from the community. It has made this tragic time in our family life a little easier and allowed us to keep our focus on honoring David and the life he had led. From the night of November 24, 2018 through today, the undeniable effect David's life and even the death had on the community could not have been honored in the way it was without the support of the hundreds of individuals and local businesses and the countless hours given from many of you. Your support was felt in beautiful words, thoughtful gifts, generous donations, and delicious meals and precious time. Though we will inevitably miss thanking many who offered support in, smil in small and big ways, we, are, we wanted to take a moment to specifically thank the following. The City of South Salt Lake, Mayor Cherie Wood, the Honor Watch that never left David's side, the Honor Guards, the incredible staff and administration of IHC Intermountain Medical Center, Taylorsville City, Taylorsville Police Department, Premier Audio, Harmon's Grocery, Colonial Flag, Emerald Society, KSL, ABC, Festival of Trees, Cafe Rio, and each and every one of the surrounding cities and police departments and administrations, along with multiple LDS relief societies. We'd also like to thank the following businesses for helping us give Officer David Romrell the warrior's goodbye he so richly deserved. Larkin Mortuary, Maverick Center, Columbus Center, As You Wish Catering, Fraternal Order of Police, the United States Marines who served with David, Ken Garf Automotive Group, Salt Lake Valley GMC, Jet Blue, Sacred Energy Empowerment Center, PSI Audio and Visual, Black Rifle Coffee, Royal Bliss, Jason Hewlett, Suffolk County Police Department, Aurora County Police Department, Dallas Police Department, Boston Police Department, Fort Worth Police Department, Chicago Police Department, and the New York City Police Department. Our family has been blessed to have the incredible generous support of many foundations who have provided critical financial support to David's wife, Elizabeth, and their son, Jackson. Cops Foundation, 1033 Foundation, FBI, Department of Justice, the Utah Law Enforcement Memorial, Salt Lake Valley Police and Fire Memorial Fund, Verizon, and the FBI National Academy Associates. We would also like to thank those personally contrib who contributed to the GoFundMe accounts, America First Credit Union Memorial Account, 
and all the other fundraising movements that occurred. As we start the task of adapting to life without David, we want to encourage the community to continue to honor David by helping one, one another. David's life, life was filled with service of family, friends, community, and our country. David always reached out to people around him to make sure they felt included and valued. We ask that in honor of David, be kind to those you come in contact with. Give your partner, your kids, your friends one extra hug. Show kindness to those you come across in your lives, even though they may not seem to deserve it. Seek to understand each other and find common ground. Love fiercely, listen intently. Stand for what is right and just and find tender mercies. Most importantly, live every moment in life as it is. It is, it is a gift because after all, that moment is in the present. The family ended their statement with a quote, when an officer's heart is larger than their courage, there shall be no better guardian worthy of wearing a badge. Yours truly, the family of Officer David Rumrell. I turn the time over to Elizabeth Rumrell now, who will make a few comments. Thank you, Thank you for being here. Um, I just want to address Chief Carruth, the South Salt Lake Police Department, their spouses, police agencies surrounding us, first responders, and the people I now call family. Your strength and love have allowed us to honor my husband, David, in the loving way that he honored and served the people of South Salt Lake. You have made his journey important, significant, and memorable. We, you have extended your hearts, time, and energy with all you had to give, and we thank you. I have felt the love and support that each of you have given us. It humbles me to receive such gifts from such incredible people. I've seen so many of you offer everything and anything you had to give, even through the deep pain of your own grief and sorrow. I have noticed and admired each tender act of kindness. They were needed and comforted us more than words can explain. This has been the most challenging experience of my life, yet I have never felt alone. This family has constantly and annoyingly reminded me that I am and will always be part of this family. This has brought me tremendous comfort and peace. David knew that South Salt Lake was special at the moment he set foot in this town. So many experiences these last few weeks have prepared me for his untimely death, bringing me to this family, our new family, David knew I'd always be safe here, loved here, and remembered here. I've already thanked David so many times for bringing us to this family. If I could only find the right words to thank each and every one of you. Jackson and I hope to spend a lifetime here, getting to know you, showing our gratitude, and celebrating the life of my husband, David. Thank you. In closing, um, the South Salt Lake Police Department thanks the media um, for the respect that they have shown to the Romrell family and honoring their wishes. Um, and as we move forward through this incident and, and into the next year, um, we will be happy as an agency to keep you informed of our, our progress on the investigation but that will come at a later time. So thank you all for coming today.